Hi, this is Dr. Michael Diamantina, Medical Director at Dominion Fertility in Arlington, Virginia. So three days ago, the Wall Street Journal published an article, How Many Cycles of IVF Should a Woman Try? And this was an article uh, that examined uh, work out of the United Kingdom that was published in the Journal of the American Medical uh, Association on women between the uh, years of 2003 through 2010. And what they found was that after six IVF cycles, 65% of the patients had a live birth. Six IVF cycles, 65% had a live birth. Well, that was back in 2003 through 2010, over six years ago. The pregnancy rates today, I have to tell you, are strikingly better than they were back in 2003 through 2010. Uh, I expect my patients to become pregnant uh, with a pregnancy rate exceeding 50% on a bad day uh, every time we put a single embryo into them. And the reason for that is, think back in 2003, did you even own a cell phone? And if you did, look at the quality of the cell phone in 2003 or even 2010 compared to now in 2017. Very different. So is the IVF treatment, and so are the success with IVF. Today, we expect pregnancy rates to, to range between 50% per embryo transfer of a single embryo to 65 plus percent per transfer of a single embryo. Six cycles of IVF, who needs that? So this is old data. Uh, I don't think it applies anymore in any uh, good, successful IVF center. If they have pregnancy rates like that, they need to close it up because it's not very uh, good. So if you read that article, I'm going to tell you that that is old news. The current pregnancy rates are, are much better than what they used to be. And the reason for that is the technologies have gotten better and our knowledge has improved. And we don't transfer embryos at Dominion Fertility fresh anymore. All the embryos are frozen and then transferred outside of the stimulation cycle. It gives a much higher pregnancy rate. Furthermore, we test the embryos to see if they're genetically normal using a technique called pre-implantation genetic screening or PGS. We do this in almost all of our embryos because it tells us with 99% certainty that the embryo is genetically normal prior to putting the embryo back into the uterus. Well, that was very rarely done back in 2003 through 2010. So the good news today, IVF has gotten much better. Pregnancy rates are well over 50% per embryo transfer. And that's uh, Dr. Michael Diamantina, what I have to say about that article. Medical director, Dominion Fertility, Arlington, Virginia.